All right, what you see here is an Edelbrock Performer RPM air gap intake manifold for a 351 Windsor. Pretty common manifold to use on these motors, no big deal. But on top of that, this manifold has recently been ported. Uh, this is the manifold I'll be using on my 351 build. Recently sent it off to Big Dog's porting end of June and just received it back a few days ago. So about a month turnaround time. You can see the numbers before and after flow numbers so they all the runners were flowing around 259 260 or so beforehand afterwards they've been opened up to about 340 cfm so that's about an 80 cfm gain you can take a quick look in the runners here hopefully you can see some of the work that's been done So gasket wise, it looks like it's been, uh, these runners have been gasket matched to a Felpro 1262, which is pretty much standard for a 351 Windsor. Actually, if you feel, looks like they've gone outside the lines of hair, so I have to trim this gasket back a tiny bit. But what that also means is for my cylinder head that you can see here, uh, there is considerable amount of extra cast iron that needs to be ground in order to gasket match to this intake gasket uh, so that I don't have a ledge uh, going from the intake runner into the cylinder head port um, so they have a smooth transition. So... Also show you the plenum area. Maybe you can see some of the work that's been done here. But as far as my engine build goes, I have begun work on the bottom end. I've been derailed by other projects, um, but hopefully I can get this moving again as soon as I get to grinding on these cylinder heads. Uh, should start assembly back up soon.